The USA inflation was grow up to 10.5% in this year. The gas prices are killing most people, especially who live in California. And war between Russia and Ukraine will bring much more inconvenience to the world where we live right now with you guys. If you're familiar with investing, you probably feel like many people right now, as well as me, because everything is under the red line and nobody knows what else this year will show to people. And many investors recommend to invest to S&P 500, which is index fund of 500 different companies in the USA. The main key is diversification and this is why for the last five years this index fund was, has been showing really great numbers. But last three months was a little bit crazy even for these companies and now we can see how the value of stocks is going down or just staying without increase. And now with all this information we need to save our money and still invest. Yes, even it looks very hard right now, but we are talking about the long distance. What's going on guys, my name is Ari and welcome back on this YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk with you about the habits that will help you to save your money. I've been doing these things a very long time and I'm happy that I've learned some tools when I was like 20 years old or something. Also we'll talk about some millionaire's habits, so watch this video until the end and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, this is how you can support me as a creator, so let's start guys. When I was young, I was like, Bro, I really don't need it. How much for that? But now I choose another way. Oh, that's oh, great, but, but no, thank no, you. I don't need it. And let me explain it, guys. You know this moment when you just get your first money and you want to spend them for everything? It really happens with everyone, right? So this was that moment when I just realized that I don't use much stuff in my life. My table should be simple enough just to work on it. And things on this table, I just use them constantly. And for me, this means uh, that I don't need much stuff that I don't use it or to just stay in somewhere in my closet or in a room and I just ignore this stuff. So why should keep all these things if I can sell it or just never buy? Sometimes people buy something because of their emotions and quick decision. Just remember the day when you were hungry in a grocery store and bought much more that you really needed. Yes, the rich people have everything they need, this is the true, but many of us can have much more stuff because sometimes we want to look more expensively and see our clothes full of luxury things. Millionaires can afford the latest fashion clothes, but that doesn't mean that they're spending their hard-earned money on high-end apparel. Many of them prefer to wear and very simple clothes without any brand logo on it. And this is the first thing that I want to tell you today. Don't spend your money on stupid things you will never use and every time you will save your money. I know that you travel or have a great time with your friends or a party and how much would you spend? The right answer is zero because I wouldn't go on the party. Alright guys, I'm kidding and the main idea is to start saving money with little things. So the second for me was when I just started cook at home. I can save much money cooking in my kitchen and don't spend money on delivery or restaurant. I I'm open to have a great meal with my friends on weekends, but usually I cook and eat at home. For example, last month I didn't go to any restaurant and probably I just spent around 20 or 30 dollars for some snacks and for meal outside. And I spend around 250 dollars every month. I go to Walmart because I can't find anything I need, so I don't spend much time to find it because it's not about having fun. Probably I would spend a little bit more if I wasn't a vegetarian, but anyway I still cook at home every day and sometimes I bring food containers with me from my home. I ain't an expert of chef, but I used to live with my parents over 25 years and my mom cooked everything for me. And when I moved to the USA, I had to save as much money as possible, so it was a good reason to start cooking something more difficult than just an hour. So this little habit really helps me to save extra 200 or 300 dollars per month. And I know this could be very small money for somebody, but anyway, I'd be happy to have extra 300 dollars per month. Because as long as you are moving in the right direction, you are focused on what really matters to you. Establishing the habit of savings. Many millionaires have a great habit to save their money and usually they say it doesn't matter how much money you make and this is about how much money you save. Well, this is true, but many people still believe that all the millionaires have a luxury life with many cool things. They spend money for everything you do, you know, some stupid things. Uh, they never understand the middle class. And this is what a lot of people do as well as some millionaires. But let's jump a little bit deeper. There are 56 million million millionaires on this planet and how many of them we know. Usually we watch YouTube, Instagram and TikTok and only watch is all about super expensive and successful life. But how many of millionaires have big platforms with millions of followers? Not many because they have different way of living and they just making money. 
and I mean that we don't even know anything about their lifestyle, because what we see on social media could be just a small part of their real life. The rich people are still people, they have a daily routine, they have many things to do, so if you are looking for a way to make your life better, don't think about cars, houses, plants and only about money. It would be better to think about the opportunities and responsibilities when you became a millionaire. For many people it means to have a main mission in their life and so the money is just a good bonus. So many of them uh, still live very modestly, never spend more than they need and usually people don't have much cash in the, their bank accounts because all their money are invested in the stock market, real estate or crypto. So for example, your living expenses under $5,000. So if you make 8 or 15 or even 20,000 per month, don't increase your expenses. Keep living for these costs and don't change your lifestyle. Whatever you make, you keep this money and save them. This habit is really powerful and I've been using it for a very long time. Sometimes it's really hard to keep your living expenses in the same style every month or even a year, but it comes with a very positive effect because you get your money. Savings money meaning sacrifices. If you have a goal and belief in your plan, someday you will get what you want. And it would be better to have a number in your mind and know what exactly you need. If you have a number and understand how much money, things or power do you need, it really helps you. Because without a plan, every way seems very difficult to finish and even one. For example, if you have a plan to save in different areas in your life, you need to make sure that your money goes toward your savings. Don't touch this money, don't spend anything unless you save six or 12 months of your typical life expenses. You can have a really good job, but 2020 showed us that everything is changed and better to know and be ready, you know, have some budget as well. And if we were fired or lost our income, we still have some money for the next six or 12 months, like I told you. Sometimes these numbers go crazy, but this is why you need to save your money and live very simple. You can call it whatever you want and even one or two months is a good start. In 2021, I had some very bad months without much money, no income, no clients and stuff like that. So I had to economy on my lifestyle and even on my food. It was really bad times. But I always have some money in my savings account. I use another bank for that just to be sure that I have enough space to my transactions. I also know some people who don't have a regular job or they make money as freelancers or have a side job. And sometimes if they get quick or easy money, if for example a client pay you very good money and the project is super easy to done so you get easy money and what a lot of people do and I was like one of them so they just spend this money in the first day or week because usually we make money for some things and yes it's not easy to get money but if you get like bonus money it's still money man I would recommend to save 80 or 90 percent of this money and take just 10 or 20 percent if you really need to get something very fast but of course if you saved all 100 percent of this money you will be much more better and you will be much more happier to see all these numbers in your bank account at the end of this month. And I also made the video about how to be a freelancer and that means save money as much as possible and work your best. And that's it guys, thank you for watching, I hope you really enjoyed and also I'm hoping that this year will be super amazing, even the last year was a little bit crazy for all of us. So I'll see you next time guys, всем пока!